Alpharetta, Georgia is a town that you have most likely heard me talk about if you've ever watched any of my videos. It's a town located in northern Fulton County and it's 26 miles north of downtown Atlanta with a population of around 67,000 people. This makes it the perfect town for people who want to live in the suburbs while needing to commute into the city for work. It constantly tops Nisha's charts for best places to live in Georgia and probably the number one place we get the most questions about from people that we talk to. Hi, I'm Sarah Mislowski with Key Point Homes Group, a real estate team helping people just like you from all over the country make the move here to North Georgia. So obviously Alpharetta is a pretty popular town, so let's go over everything you need to know about living here. You can find a whole range of homes in Alpharetta, ranging from you got swim tennis communities, modern luxury townhouses and apartments, and there are a few really popular neighborhoods in Alpharetta like Windward has about 2,500 homes. It's also gotten a ton of subsections to it. So it's like neighborhoods within neighborhoods. And so it encompasses a huge part of town. Buyers seek this neighborhood out specifically for its own 195 acre neighborhood lake. So you, you also have tons of tennis courts, pools, golf club and just about anything else that you could want. Another popular neighborhood in Alpharetta is Seven Oaks. In this neighborhood, I love it because it has oak trees. Uh, it also has 600 homes and it has some really, really great amenities as well. So not only are you gonna find established neighborhoods in Alpharetta, but there's also quite a few new construction neighborhoods going in as well. You get single family homes and townhouses as well. There's a lot of great luxury townhouses in the Alpharetta area. So if your goal was to have a few acres of land where you can grow you know, a vegetable garden and have some chickens and a coop in the backyard, this is not going to be the place for you, but you can find this in nearby Milton if you can afford it. So make sure you check out this video where we deep dive into Milton, which is another popular community. If you're looking for a more suburban town with all of the amenities, shopping and restaurants that you could ever need, Alpharetta is the place for you. So we've talked before in previous videos that you have Halcyon, which is a great outdoor shopping mall, and along with the Avalon, those are both you know, big outdoor spaces. Avalon's a little bit more upscale. You're gonna find a Chanel store there and there's a Tesla store. That's not like your traditional run of the mill outdoor malls, but they're still very, very popular because they have so many things to do and you can walk around outside and enjoy all the wonderful weather that we have here in Georgia. If antique stores are more your thing or specialty shops, you can definitely find those on Main Street in the uh, historic district of downtown Alpharetta. Um, they've got some really cute upscale you know, options for restaurants and there's cafes and a really great coffee shop down there. They have a ton of variety. The thing I love most about visiting Alpharetta is that you have so many options of places so that you don't really find them much in the surrounding areas. You get the luxury of all the options that come with living in the city without actually being in the city of Atlanta. Something that is really driving people to Alpharetta are the great schools. So one of the huge selling points in Alpharetta is that almost all the schools are very highly rated. Like Alpharetta High School, which is ranked the number three best public high school in the state on niche.com. And it also gets a nine out of 10 ranking on great schools. They also have Chattahoochee High School, which also received a nine out of 10 on greatschools.org. You can see here on the screen that they have several highly ranked middle and elementary schools as well. And since Alpharetta has some of the state's top ranked schools and because there are so many of them, well, pretty much anywhere you decide to live, you are going to be uh, within a top highly rated school district. So this is one of the reasons that it's definitely gonna cost you more to live in Alpharetta. Of course, when it comes to schools, you should always do your research. There's a ton of great Facebook groups about people living in the area that you can join and they're gonna give you all kinds of opinions. Or you can actually call the schools and ask to get a tour for yourself if, so that you can decide um, if your child would thrive in that environment. So what is the current price of a home in Alpharetta? Currently, the median sales price of a home in Alpharetta is $580,000 and the average sales price is $680,000. This has decreased about eighty dollars to $90,000 from the data in July, but it is still up 17% year over year. There are currently 310 homes on the market ranging in price from 6.75 on the high end 
all the way down to the lowest priced townhouse, which is listed for $225,000. You're gonna find that most all homes under 400,000 are townhouses. Occasionally you can find a single family home, but most of them are gonna be like around a two bedroom, two bath. So if you're looking for a lot of space, it's going to cost you. Once you get a little bit closer to 500,000 price range, your options start to expand, but Alpharetta is not a cheap place to live when it comes to housing. If you can afford the average sales price of 680,000, you can find something like this new construction town home that has four bedrooms and it has three and a half bathrooms with 2,600 square feet. Or you could check out this four bedroom, four and a half bathroom home. It's built in 1995, but it sits on an acre. So if you're looking at this, Zillow actually says it's in Milton, but it's really actually Alpharetta. We can just blame everything on Zillow. This happens a lot because Alpharetta and Milton are so close to one another and they so frequently kind of overlap and it's no wonder Zillow gets confused because we get confused. If a golf course community is more your thing, <laughs> Alpharetta has a ton of them. You have Atlanta National, which has golf, clubhouse, restaurants, and it's surrounding by beautiful, rolling, gentle uh, hills. You got streams, and you have a horse farm of the crabapple community that's right in the backyard of the golf course. In Alpharetta, Milton area, you also have the Country Club of the South, which hosts a gated community with 700 homes. Crooked Creek Golf Course and Rivermont Country Club are also there as well. And if that wasn't enough to choose from, you can also check out St. Ives Country Club, and that has like estate-like homes and the very popular White Collins Country Club, really popular with families. Not to be outdone by all of those, there is also the Manor Golf and Country Club, which was designed by Tom Watson. And then finally, we mentioned Windward at the top of this video. It's a very popular neighborhood for a lot of reasons. So there's no shortages to tee it up. Another reason that so many people love living in Alpharetta is because of the parks and outdoor events. You've got Wills Park and it's a 60 acre equestrian show facility. You've got 10 different baseball fields to choose from. You have a pool, three playgrounds, six tennis courts, and an 18 hole disc golf course and plenty of green space to make up that 120 acre property. Now, even though you're in a busier city like Alpharetta, you still have a ton of great parks to spend time outside. There's also an adorable farmer's market in downtown uh, every single weekend, and it is so cute. And there's no shortages of events that happen all throughout the year, like my favorite, the Taste of Alpharetta. It features over 60 local restaurants, and you get to sample and taste every type of food imaginable. And Alpharetta also puts on a really great 4th of July fireworks show. And of course, like any great town, they have the annual Christmas tree lighting. So lots of great things going on in Alpharetta, but don't be surprised to find a lot of traffic in your day-to-day -day commute around town or down to Atlanta. We've talked about how popular Alpharetta is and well, that comes with a lot of people and cars. So what do you think? Are you interested in calling Alpharetta home? My team and I would love to help. In the meantime, you also should check out this video about Alpharetta's neighbor, Johns Creek.